Okay, I'm going to start working on this Selberg repaint. I have my uh, little cheap Walmart brushes right here. They're sponge brushes. And uh, got my big jar of paint here. Got that flesh tone mixed to match Selberg exactly. And uh, these little guys you can find at Walmart too. Right here, sponge it sticks. All different sizes, that'll be for blending and getting into the little cracks here. So, I have a uh, thing of water over here ready to go. Always have a paper towel ready to uh, get out excess paint and uh, just a slick surface to daub onto uh, to get off any excess paint or get the uh, one of the brushes set up for a dry brush uh, when you do the final stippling. So what I'm going to do here is it's a paint stippling technique. Uh, I didn't come up with it, but uh, it sure works pretty cool. But there's a certain thing you have to do with this. You got to keep it wet and work in areas that you can gradi gra gradually fade off and get back to. So you don't end up with a wet, a dry spot and then building up over it. So you want to feather up into the cheek here. So essentially, I'm going to do the upper lip and feather down to here along this line so when I blend in it'll go unnoticed then I'll work into the chin and then I'll pick a cheek and work up and over the whole cheek and into the eye and then feather off at the bridge of the nose then come back in or I'm sorry then I'll continue on the bridge of the nose and work my way down to this cheek and feather out so my final phase will be going from here doing his above his eyelids and up over his forehead and I'll just be working across all the way across as I work up to the top and that way I have pretty much a consistent wet coat of paint going now during this process the other part that's going to get you is you got to keep track of how long it's been since you've done a side because you want an area because you want it to set up a little and when you hit your feather spot you come back with a dry brush, it could have a little paint on it, but you want to work out all the extra paint on your cardboard, and then you're going to level out the bubbles, and it'll level out the entire paint job, and it's a very light touch, so I'll go over that as I do it. So we're going to start on this left side of his upper lip and work over, and uh, see what happens here. Now with this one, I'm going to use this size of brush, the small uh, foam brush, the smaller one, and then I go to the larger size for the bigger areas. So this will get into some nooks and crannies along with this one here. So let's do it. Now I want to work off. When I first start, I want a good load of paint on there. I'm just going to come in there. Just work that up into that crack. Dance my way along here. Feather it down. And just overlap, overlap that lip a little bit. I'm going to repaint that lip anyways. Scoop up a little more paint. I'm going to stop just under the nose. Up inside there a little bit. Now you want to keep it even as, as even as you can. You can tell just by looking at it uh, where the heavy wet spots are at. And uh, so I'm gonna get my dry brush here. I'm gonna get a little bit wet. Now I'm just gonna come back. You can see those bubbles on there. Now I'm just gonna come back, start popping those bubbles. And uh, get my paper towel, get the excess paint off. Any of the areas that went up into the nose, I'm going to get off any heavy paint there. Just kind of brush it away. I'll feather into all that stuff later. Down here. Now I'm just going to come back and start popping those bubbles. It's about a medium pressure when you first start popping them. And then you're going to go to a super light pressure. 
What this will do is create a nice subtle skin texture, not a heavy one. As you see over here, I have this paint roll, uh, paper towel roll. I just take the extra off as I go along. And just keep going until you don't see any bubbles and you just get this super fine texture. And then the last part when I'm tapping it, I am just barely tapping it. Real light touch. It almost slides out of your hand. It's that light of a touch. Just keep tracking on it. And then once it gets too dry, you'll tell when it's drying up, then you're going to have to stop and work this up into that corner. Now I should have done, hit a little bit more paint up into this area here, just to make sure I got inside those cracks good, inside the creases I should say. And you have your water around too so you can get these brushes cleaned up pretty quick so they don't get hard on you. You got enough time to work back and find those really light spots. A little, I'm sorry, you can go back and correct those fine little bubbles. That's about it. That's the basic technique right there. Now I'm just going to continue that on through the whole head. So there you go. Hope that helped.